Hi there. You may have noticed I've been very quiet for a while and you may have noticed I have a bit of a different background going on here. That's because a lot has happened since I was last active on YouTube. Uh, I have been literally all over the world, uh, which has been unusual, I know, for most people during the pandemic. But strap in, I have a bit of a story for you if you haven't been following along on social media. Um, I was in Beijing with my husband, that's where we were living when COVID happened and I talked a little bit about what that experience was like. Um, we had a lot of restrictions, they eased a little bit or at least the process had gotten a bit more organised. I had a business trip planned to Southeast Asia. At the time, outside of China, not a lot was happening COVID-wise. Um, not long before my trip, one of the events I was due to go to in Thailand and Cambodia was cancelled and we had a serious talk about whether or not I should cancel my trip. We decided that even if all of the work I was going to go for was cancelled, it was still worth going for several reasons. Um, so I went. When we were considering all the things that could go wrong, the one thing we didn't think to consider was that China might close their borders to ch residents of China, like me. I had a valid work permit, which is my residence permit. It was about to get renewed. It actually got renewed while I was outside the country. Uh, but while I was gone, the situation changed and I couldn't go back. Actually, almost as soon as I left the country, within a couple of days, the situation worldwide started changing. Um, I was sitting in hotel rooms, looking at the news, looking at the things changing. All of the events I went to go for were cancelled. Even the one that I was running ended up cancelled. Um, I was supposed to be there for my best friend's 40th birthday and those celebrations were cancelled. Everything was cancelled. All of my personal meetups with people were cancelled. I sat in hotel rooms for, for two weeks waiting for news. Um, and yeah, I didn't get to go back to China. So we decided I would fly to Australia to my parents' house, which is where I am right now, um, to see uh, when the situation would change. It didn't change. In the end, my husband packed up our house, shipped a few things to the US and most of the rest of the stuff we were able to sell some and give some away and the rest just, um, our housekeeper got rid of it, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, and then my husband moved to the States. I was able to go over a little bit later and spend three months in the States with him and set up a new apartment there. By then we'd been apart for seven months. So I left for three weeks <laughs> and didn't see him for seven months and was never able to go back to China. Um, but I'm not a citizen or a resident of the US. He is, I'm not. So I only got to stay for three months um, because I don't have the right visa to stay long term and with all the stuff happening border wise. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't able to extend the trip. So I came back to Australia and we put in paperwork for me to get a green card through marriage. Um, I was not, I didn't qualify to apply from within the US, so I have to apply from outside the US, which is faster, but I can't enter the US and with current border stuff, he can't visit me in Australia right now. So we're apart again. It's been five months so far and the US immigration says to expect another six to 12 months in the current situation. So that's why I'm in Australia <laughs> um, and why things have been a bit quiet. I've been dealing with other things. Uh, but it's the end of the Northern Hemisphere school year now. I'm wrapping up contracts with um, the work that I've been doing. And so I'm getting back to focusing on my business. I have a new website that's going to be coming soon. So I'm excited to be talking to you all again. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye for now.